Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. We like that. We like those. <laughs> you just throw it on the ground. Oh, fuck. Hey, that's why I was like, sit close to the ground so that it doesn't make you fall too much. So there you go. Jesus Christ. I could fit my ship in your ramp, dude. Um, no, not that ship, but you can fit the Aurora in the hangar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so look at, look at look at the side of it. It's got the name of the ship on there. They need to make it bigger, though. Eternal Vigilance. It needs to be bigger. Yeah, no, the name of the, the name needs to be bigger. It's tiny right now for some it's reason. It's kind of humbling. You know, the ship is so big and the name is so little. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's like the ship doesn't have a big ego, you know? It's humble. All right, I'm going to pull it out of the hangar just so they don't store it on me. Gotcha. They like my, to do that. My ship's under the landing pad, so you should be good. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have a problem. I'm just going to pull straight out. Okay, so you're going to the... That's the cargo bays you're running through right now? Those are detachable. Yeah. They will be detachable. They're not yet. But they do carry cargo. Detachable? Do you mean like you can put different uh, like pods can, in them? You can swap them out completely like from the ship, or you can drop them off even. Or at least that's, that's what they're going to be doing. They haven't done it yet. Oh, is this the one that I saw at the ship dealership? With the multiple turrets outside it? Nope. Oh, that would be geez. the hammerhead. This is this is a character and it's bigger. Bigger. I it's like bigger. that. Well, I went all the way in the back. I saw the turret back there, so I was curious. Oh, that's a ship to the outside. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Well, I, I'm just exploring. Especially when I'm moving. That wouldn't be a good idea. Gonna get smacked by the ship as I'm moving. If you I'll go out of it, <laughs> sounds like a great idea. All right, I'm coming back to you. And yeah, by the way, you know how you can bind bind to a, a med bay like uh, at the clinics and stuff for when you die. Yeah. Or you spawn over there. Yeah. Well, this ship has a med bay you can spawn to. Yeah, I know the really expensive ones have that. How much is this ship? Well, <clears throat> I got lucky the way I got it, but it's right now it's six hundred dollars. Wow! I didn't. I did not pay six hundred dollars for it. So basically, I, I won a Mercury Star Runner on somebody's stream. That's like two hundred twenty dollars worth, and then I upgraded that to this thing when it was three hundred fifty dollars a couple of years ago. Oh! And then it went up in price. And then, and then after that, they had a sale on another shit that was like one hundred fifty dollars more that I wasn't going to get. And then it was only seventy dollars more because they put it on sale, and I've, they've never done that before. And it was going to be hard to get before that. And and so now I have a CCU to that ship, which is even bigger, which is a, 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 a torpedo Corvette. So I do like this ship. Um, I'm probably going to upgrade it to that because I, I only have one big ship. I don't have the money for having more, but I'll buy this ship again in game because I like this ship. I see. But here's the here's the med bay. So you can use the bed if you're hurt, and then on the left-hand side there where it says Digital Medical Assistance, that's where you would bind. This is actually really good for doing bunker missions, or, or like the 890 jump mission that you died on. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, you just leave some extra gear in here, and then if you die, you just spawn here and get the extra gear, go back and get your old gear back after you kill the, the guys that, you, that killed you. So, does this ship have a hangar? Yep. Show me the hangar. Hang it's a smaller hangar, but it is a hangar. Uh, let me go up the floor here. I want to see the hangar. Come on up here. Yeah. From the technical deck. This is given. This there ship... is the, that is the hangar right there. See in the window? Yeah. And so That's a tiny button, hangar. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is, but it'll hold an Aurora. That's true. What about there, the, there... um, there's a really cheap, transport ship that holds like six people will that fit in here uh, i'm not sure which one you mean uh let me see let me go to the list of ships i mean this comes with the pisces that that will definitely fit in here fit a couple of them here actually uh an arrow will fit in here but not 
with the gear down and it's because the wing is fold up currently when you put the gear down and you can't control them separately they're supposed to change that but if you put the arrow in here with the wings down and you had the landing gear down it would fit right now you could technically belly land it but it's not a good idea to leave it like that because if you restore the ship putting it back again it'll put the the ship that's inside of it back in its default state which is kind of the thing that's happening to your your uh tauna right it's yeah. spawning it in the wrong default state and it shouldn't be spawning like that right that's the first time i've ever seen it do that i don't know and when i heard about that i was like dude that sucks for anyone that owns that yeah if that's your only ship that really does suck. yeah you're kind of boned if that's your only ship so you either need to fix that like immediately or start giving those people a loner for something else yeah give them an aurora jesus something that's just I, I would I don't even think an Aurora is fair because they paid more money for that ship if they own it. That's true. Like, that, real money. I think I think they that ship a, at least a Titan. I that's think the that the ship equivalent. is worth a hundred bucks. The Aurora it's, is only um, thirty. It's I think it's eighty maybe I don't know seventy or eighty dollars something like that. Yeah, with with a with a game account it's like eighty five I think something like that. All right, so anyways here let's go back here. Oh, I got some turrets on side here these are the i call these the main turrets because they're the most effective ones they're, they're so this thing has four turrets one on the top one on the bottom and two in the sides i go ahead and get in that it's, it's really cool the whole turret extends out so you can have much better range of movement it's almost like getting in like a little tie fighter pod that's attached to the ship hmm Okay, so turn it on. Mm. So you got to hold F. Or, or did, oh, it did turn on. Okay, I, I guess they made it so it automatically turns on. Yeah, you I already do, have it on. I do have a button that says power on. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's already on, I think. Isn't it moving? Uh, Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then it's already on. But hit, hit F4 quick. You'll see an external view of the ship. Got you. And then you hold, you can hold Z to rotate the camera. So yep. look at the look at the turret you're in. See how it's stuck at six out on that? On the, it's not, you're in the left one. Ah, uh, the left one. Yes, I see it. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. It gives you a really good field of uh, like a, a arc of fire. Oh yeah, and the uh, the hangar is like on top of the ship. I see. Yeah. Oh, I need to close that before someone tries to get in there. People will do that. They'll be like, Ooh, like... let's get in a ship and do stuff." <laughs> So that's a, that's up there. It's like in that, that ball thing. I see. And then this is engineering. All this is is gonna be functional. Like these little like these are dummy right now because they don't do anything. But the little panels will do stuff. And then where's the? There it is. So that's the actual component. That if you went to the store and had the head on a display, that's what you would see. I think that, yeah, it's a quantum drive. Nice. All right, so let's go over here to the elevator. You can use the stairs too, but, or not ladder, I mean. And then same down here. There's a bunch of life support. They don't even have a module for that yet. But that's where it'll go. Uh, there's there's no life support in this ship. <laughs> so there's two actual sensors in this ship. There's one up towards the front, and they don't have either module in the game yet. But and then there's one back here. And the reason it has two is because the front one is for like your your standard radar, mm -hmm. and, it, and it has a like a big tactical table up up front. And then this one here is for the cartography room upstairs. Because like I said, this is for a, a, a exploration. It's a, it's a military exploration exploration vehicle, so it's actually well armored. Yeah, that's a decent amount of firepower, but it, obviously it's not going to hold up to a full a, a military ship of the same size. Yeah, because th isn't there like a super carrier? The Bengal. I have no clue what it is. Yeah, nobody nobody owns it. Nobody can own that yet, though. All I uh, remember is like back when they were first teasing tank. the game. That's what they sure. showed off. Yep. Yeah, you're talking about that big thing that the the, the big green and white thing right yeah it looks like a fucking aircraft carrier the size of like a fucking state that would be the super carrier and that's the bangle 
they they have that in 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 the game as an NPC ship, but they don't. There's not nothing. It's nothing we can use on uh, as a ship ship yet. It's yeah. really really big. They put it in for um, Invictus week, so that's coming could you, up. Could you even imagine two people on the same server with one? Is like too much. Yeah. Well, okay. So right now we've got servers, right? But eventually they're gonna have everybody on the same server, uh, at least by region, because you know the. The problems with light the speed of light <laughs> yeah. lag yeah so it's going to be three regions just like we have now uh only there's not going to be separate servers it's all going to be one server all right so here is the drone room please don't get in the seats you won't be able to get it back out the drones don't do anything yet because they don't have that in the game yet but this this is the drone room and drone it should room. yep it's supposed to come with four drones and two of them are or is it six I don't know. Anyways, uh, half of them are supposed to be repair, and the other half are for are, are exploration, which I'm going to guess are, are the quantum probes they were talking about recently. They're little little drones that can actually quantum. Hmm. That sounds OP as hell. Well, it's just for looking. You know, there's no guns on them or anything. Hmm. It's just like to, ch Not to check out what's over there. Not yet. Give, we'll give them a, a little... give them a few patches, few expansions. So this will be a little repair room, uh, so you can repair, you know, like field gear, and then this is supposed to be like a little 3D printer thing, so that you can, you know, replace parts or make, you know, gear if you've Fix got it. the, yeah, exactly. Why are there so many rooms? Because this is a big ship. I know. So these are all the escape pods. Unfortunately, they don't work yet. Well, I imagine good luck trying to get to it before you blow up. Why? That's right behind the bridge. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're in the turret in the all the way back. <laughs> oh, there's more ski pods over there. Oh, okay. Jeez. So this is that big tactical globe I was telling you about. Doesn't do anything yet, but... And then this is the command station. You can actually fly the ship from here. Although it, right now, for some reason, it has limited function. There's, there's your ship out there, by the way. Yeah. And then we'll go down to the lower level of the bridge. Do you have the, um, what's it called? The, the ship that can carry a land vehicle. Uh, yeah, you're talking about, talking about like this, like the uh, Hercules? Uh, no, I think it's like Black Kuros or something. Something like that. Oh, Cutlass Black? Cutlass Black, yeah, that. No, I don't have, I don't have a black, but I have a blue. I think Cutlass Black is the next ship I'm going to get. Yeah, that's not a bad ship. You can carry a ground vehicle in it, yep, and you can you can carry a rock, which is a like a little buggy that can um, do some ground mining. It's oh. actually pretty profitable. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, cuz I it, didn't know that. You're looking for gems with that thing and they're they're in rocks that they're the same thing that you'd use for the hand mining, but they're in rocks that the hand mining tool won't break. It's too much. So you need the rock, for the, the little, you know, the buggy for that. It's called the ROC rock. I see. So yeah, I use the rock to mine rocks, which is weird. <laughs> That's what they called it. It just sounds to me like they, oh, by the way, here's that other raider I was talking about. They didn't want to think about it too hard. And then there's some access points for the servers, which don't do anything yet. And then the avionics is here on the floor, which is not there yet either. Well, like, <laughs> um, in my ship, there's, like, a fucking armory rack, so I'm sure you can put guns in that when they implement that. Uh-huh. I have... Here, we'll get to that here, too. So here is the captain's quarters. But this this ship, the size of it and, like, how big of a crew you could have just screams, like, Star Trek or Halo to me. Yeah. Th but honestly, this is their version of... of a, well, it's a smaller... It's kind of like the, it reminds me of the of the original Enterprise, you know, the smaller one. Yeah. Not not the D, obviously. <laughs> don't. Oh, there we go. If you ever see black, don't walk into the door. Wait until it loads. Because like I that. I learned that the hard way. I spawned yeah. in from being dead, and I walked out of my hospital bed, and I looked to my left, and where there was supposed to be a door, there was just black nothing, and I walked and, through. And it. yes, yes, we're vampires for now. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we can't. Reflections are too hard, dude. Well, they're gonna have them. They just don't have them yet. I see the space behind you. It's... 
Oh, that, that shit. <laughs> that shit actually happened on a fucking Star Trek episode. It was like some psychological fucking thing that they were doing to the crew members. There's like You're some the alien. And yeah, all this stuff will work for food. Oh yeah. I'm gonna I, sit in the seats right now, but I mean, but that. Okay. So like. <laughs> when you when you have a ship like this, let's say you have an org, right? And they're all yep. eating your food, and they, do you have to pay for that? The food? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to pay so for like, the food. So like, so like, how does that work? Does it just, or is that not well, in the game yet, really? Well, no, it, it's it's it it's not quite. So these things aren't open yet. Uh, we do have food. Yeah. Um, some of the ships you can kind of manually put them in certain areas now. Uh, but eventually what they want to do is make it so you can load the ship, like, tell what you want to load the ship up with. And then, like, NPCs will go load it up. It's oh, kind of like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's so what I was want... thinking. I was like, are they going to add, like, NPC buddies that you can hire and shit? Uh huh? Yeah, they are. Because that would be cool if I could hire, like, a gunner for my ship. Yep. That's that's what one of the things with this ship is if, if, I'm, if I'm playing by myself in this ship, Really, all I need is is four extra people, and if I hire four NPCs, I mean, they might not be as good as players, um, but I could still run the ship then, and then they'll be able to shoot at stuff that I, I would feel get like. Designate. Even if you do have an org of people, it would you'd still be better off using the NPCs because then the players would be free to like either use their own ships or um, be the ground assault team. Like, I don't it know. Would, it, would, it would depend, because yeah. the players are definitely better shots. Yeah. Yeah, but you yeah, can, ha can kind of kill some the... Having NPCs around. You can kill the AI pretty easily in this game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll get better, but they, they don't also don't want it to get better than your average player. Because, you know, they want the average player to be able to, be able to complete missions. <laughs> uh-huh. They, they, the, they want the players to be the, the heroes and the villains, essentially. Yeah, we're supposed to be the better than the rest of the I universe. Keep closing it. I'm sorry. Keep fighting. <laughs> and, and this pool table will work, and it's a weird shape by now. Yeah, well. And obviously, those balls have to get change color because <laughs> that's not going to work. I'm, I'm sure they'll figure it out. All right, and then here go. Uh, the Captain. Going the wrong way, yeah. All right, so there's the medical again. You've already seen that, right? Yep. We're going to go up one floor to the top floor and then back down to the very bottom floor because that makes sense. Like, if you know the layout of the ship, you'd understand. Okay, so this is cartography. And this does not work yet, but they, they kind of have a little holographic thing here to kind of give you an idea what what it's going to be like. So, long-range scanning, essentially. So you can look at a sector before you jump into it. Uh huh. And th th this is one of the few ships that's going to be able to look that far. Yeah. So you could plan a fucking war from this ship. That's why I bought this ship. Um, the the uh, the other one that I'm going to upgrade to does not have a cartography room, but it has a tactical station, like like this. You know, like the small one on the bridge. It's like that, but it's bigger. So it's similar to this, only it's just for more like like for ships and things. Like you can obviously you'll see you know planets and stuff, right? Yeah. Um, but it's not gonna be able to scan for new planets necessarily. That's this this one this will be able to do that. Um, but yeah, so that's why I want to buy this again. Like I like this ship, and it would actually go well with that other ship too. Because then I can just kind of you know use use this as the as the scout, and the other one as the the might. Oh, and there's an escape pod right there. See, I was telling you there's more. I see. And there's some sp suit spots for spacesuits, because this whole room up here is actually an airlock. So this ship came with a Pisces, right? It comes with a Pisces and an Ursa, which is a rover. Where's the so, uh, Ursa? Uh, the Ursa would go in the garage. Uh, where we walked in. Oh, that's the garage? 
Yep. The the ramp. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the garage. It's the so, only way into the ship at the moment. Um, can you like gonna... can you like buy whatever ground vehicle you want and put it in there? Pretty much. So like you can buy the tank and put it in there. Not not in this ship. That's not no, big enough. This is not big I enough. Okay. I tried. It does not fit. Oh shit. Yeah, you went too far outside of the gravity. The gravity of the hangar pulls you to the to the door. Just face plant real quick. Yeah, that's why we're hold, sticking to this because the gravity from below the it's here is pulling us to it. So there's a tank, and then there's like. So to move the like tank, a... there's only two ships that will move it. And technically, like, well, okay, there's there's a, three variants of one ship, and then there's another ship that would technically move it, move it, but it's it's actually kind of a pain to get it in there properly, and that's the 890 jump. The thing that you're doing the mission in earlier. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, it has a, a that a ship thing. was big, dude. Yeah, yeah, it has a it has a garage, which is just big enough uh, to get it in there. But it 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 has problems trying to get the tank in there. So really, you you need a a, a star lifter to do to do it. You've already been here. Yes. Here, let me show you the uh. This, there's there's your your armory. Oh. And over here too. Just pull a, just pull a couple rifles off the. Off and don't the forget if you hit if you hit I, or not. Uh, well, default is I. You get your get your your inventory and see there's a vehicle, and that has a lot of storage on this ship. Um, see on the left hand side. I don't see anything. No, that, on the left hand side, that box or, there. That, that's the ship. You can drag stuff, personal stuff, into that. Don't don't do it because like, oh oh, oh. It would you be, mean it would the... be stuck in... yeah for for like because right now you can't put like these are supposed to open okay. well they open but you can't put the suits in there yet these are for so, like space suits okay when you buy a vehicle it's like an item in your inventory no 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 it has its own inventory okay yeah all the ships do uh, it's just that the fighters you can't access it from this uh, if it's a single seat fighter you can't access it from the seat. But there is like a little panel you can open it up. Um, I think the Aurora you can just access it from standing inside of there. Same thing with the Reliant. You just push I and you'll see the the personal. It's personal storage, you know, okay. for like armor and, and guns and stuff like that. But yeah. you can't put the guns in the gun rack. Those do work. Actually, um, let me grab. Let me see. Do I should have guns? I can access all of my stuff at the station still from out here, which this is this is how they have it right now. So let me I can grab a gun here. So did we see the whole ship? Uh pretty much, yeah. Gotcha. Um here is this like So Oh I can't put it out because the armistice is on. God damn it. Oh well. It, it you can put it in there. You, what you do is you pull the gun out and then, then you and you uh, place it. It'll give you an option to place. So yeah, you just strip naked and then you put it in there. <laughs> Wait, oh what the hell? How did that happen? I don't know, man. You just stripped in front of me. No, it ate my suit. What the hell? Okay, game. Oh, there it goes. It's back. No, it's not back. I, I put another one on. Oh, okay. That's okay. I have more. That's good. It's good that you have more. Because <laughs> the game will probably take it from you. Yeah, unfortunately, the bugs can do that. Oh, and, and, these, and these work. These little elevators. Nice. So I, don't, I, just, I mean, there's no point going down there. You can see it. Unless you want to run around down there. But it's not gonna do any good. All right, so yeah, so you use these to like jump out of the ship real quick. Yeah, that's the that's the docking port. So we're gonna be able to dock with the station eventually. Uh, right now, the only eight, only the eight hundred jump and the hammerhead can dock with the stations. They need to add this docking collar. It's a different. It's a round one. It's the same one that's on the the cutlass red and the cutlass blue. Yeah, the um, the Reliant is it Reliant? The ship, yeah, yeah. the ship I have. There's a uh, science version of it that I was looking at. It's got like yeah, the Sen. Yeah, I wanted to see the inside of that, see how different it is. 
Uh, I don't have one, otherwise I'd spawn it for you. Yeah. Well, I just okay, wonder so... if it's got more interior, because it seems like that's a really big ship. It could it could have more interior if it wanted to. Which one? The Reliant. The Sand?